So here it is. This is an emulation box that doubles as an arcade stick, and this is called a Super Console Arcade. And this is brought to you by Ken Hank, and the link will be below to the AliExpress store where you can check this out. It also is available on Amazon as I search for it. And what this does is it's a built-in console with tons of games. This one has tw over 23,000 games on it and they're uh, put on a 256 gigabyte SD card, micro SD card. And I'm just gonna share with you kind of what consoles are on it uh, that it emulates as well as some of the games, how they run and some of my thoughts. Uh, the opinions expressed in this are of my own and just wanna share uh, what I think of it. You know, these emulation boxes are popular. You know, I'd, I've done a couple videos of these on my channel. Uh, it's not my go-to per se, but there's lots of people that just want the all-in-one experience. And, you know, people have requested me to share what these products do as they are on the market. And there's a lot of people out there that don't wanna collect games. They just wanna play and have everything in all-in-one device. And so it comes with a USB-C cable there and you need that to plug it in if you wanna use it as an arcade stick. And I'm gonna show that a little bit later. It comes with this adapter as well as, you know, uh, AC adapter that you need to plug in, but you don't need to plug in the AC adapter if you just wanna use the arcade stick. And so the instructions aren't even in English. And here is the actual stick. It does have uh, a weight inside and it has non-slip grips on the back side, so it is nice and sturdy. It's got a nice feel to it. The arcade stick does have that clicky sound to it. Uh, here is the back side, and as you can see, there's a little sticker, and underneath the sticker is the micro SD card where you can insert it into a computer and add and delete games at your own risk. And so again, your experience with this might be different. I'm just uh, sh sharing what I am looking at and playing. Here are the consoles and computers that are on this. Arcade, Atari 2600, Atari 5200, and Atari 7800. Nice to see that, as well as Lynx. And you know, it's got tons of arcade consoles on here. Sega Dreamcast and uh, Final Burn Neo. Famicom, Disk System, Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Advance, you know, Game Boy Color. There's tons of games represented in television. Nice to see that. MAME, tons of arcade games on this. Sega Master System, Sega Genesis, and as you can see how many games are on each uh, console here. Naomi, even Nintendo DS, not too many games for that, but lots of Neo Geo CD and Neo Geo Arcade, lots of NES, even it's got a Beats of Rage on here, TurboGrafx-16 and CD, and so it's even got PSP, original PlayStation, Sega CD, Sega is definitely represented, SG-1000, Super Nintendo, and Super Graphics. Just gonna do a quick overview of some of the settings. You can choose aspect ratio and how games look. You can want the smooth or sharp look. There is auto save and load features, shaders, you name it. You um, Per console, you can customize it. It's not too hard to jump in and uh, tweak things the way you like, whether you want full screen or bezel. Uh, there's lots of different options and that's nice. So you can play it the way you want. Uh, you know, for people that just want to uh, play all their games in one spot, this might be an option. It's far from perfect. I'm gonna share uh, some things that worked and things that didn't. Here's what a basic menu looks like. It does show a little video of each game running as you select each uh, console or computer. It gives a list of the game and a description. Now I'm gonna show you some of the games and how they run. So here's Thunder Heroes. I'm not too familiar with this arcade game, but that is the benefit of something like this, where you can check out a bunch of obscure games that you've never heard of before. 
You know, I, I've played lots of arcade games, but there's always something out there that uh, I've never played or seen. Maybe you want to play something more mainstream like Street Fighter Alpha 3, one of the many versions of it. There's several versions on here. As you know, there is some doubles, uh, different regions and whatnot, but you know, the arcade stick is functional. You know, I'm not the best at fighting games, but what I played so far, it seemed to work pretty good. And then you got stuff like this. You got one of many Beats of Rage mods, Mega Man War of the Past. And this is kind of cool where it takes characters and puts them in a brawler engine. Lots of fun if you haven't checked these out. Uh, quite a bit there. It would be nearly impossible to list all the games, but uh, there is every genre is well represented. Here's more MAME, and this is a Sura Blade Sword of Dynasty. I'm not familiar with this uh, late 90s fighting game, so definitely checking it out here. It seems to be running okay, and the arcade stick is functional. Here is an old school one if you're an old school fan, and this is Solar Fox. I found this uh, arcade game on here and haven't played this one in a long time, so it was nice to go back and revisit it. Uh, there is an Atari 2600 port as well. So, you know, whatever you're into, you're going to find at least a few games on here. This is Nintendo 64, Bust a Move 99. So maybe you're more of a puzzle fan, but, you know, this arcade stick and the built in emulated games. Uh, this is a good way of playing arcade style games, especially with the arcade stick, and I found it to be working. At least this stuff pretty well. Lots of Sega Genesis on here. This is Batman, and this is a pretty solid side-scrolling brawler, and one that you might remember playing, or maybe not. You know, the strength of a device like this is it's an all-in-one stop. There's gonna be people that say, hey, just get a Raspberry Pi go that route then dude and or uh, play emulation on your pc for free go that route as well um, for others that don't want to hunt and peck for for different games this might be an option that's all i'm showing for some you may want to just stick with what you have and that's totally fine with some of the more intensive games such as naomi games uh, there was a few audio hiccups that i noticed but you know uh, for the most part, it is totally playable, and you know, I found myself enjoying playing and going back and playing some of these fighting games. As time moves forward, there's going to be more requests for newer platforms, and here is PlayStation Portable, and it's running at least this game at 60 frames a second. And uh, you know, I know there's going to be a lot of people that are going to want to play this version of Pac-Man, which actually is a really good version of Pac-Man. Then you got classics like this, Devil's Crush, made for the TurboGrafx-16. And you know, I've really been in kind of a pinball mood lately. So going back and playing this, and it plays great, looks great too. If you haven't played this one, this is absolutely fantastic. And one I highly recommend going back and playing, however you want. Lots of PlayStation on here, and here is Arkanoid 2000, also known, I do believe, as Arkanoid 4. But yeah, you know, uh, there is plenty to like here, especially from that 32-bit era. Here is an early PlayStation title, Battle Arena Toshiden. Here's Sega CD running, and this is one I am not familiar with. This is an import called Devastator, and this might be something you grew up with, but you know, this is a good way where you can play imports. Another way to check out a game that may have not been in your region. And this one's got awesome music. Here's Solomon's Club. This is Solomon's key essentially for Game Boy original. And so it's kind of cool to check this one out. As you know, there's just so many titles that come out and may, maybe you've missed them or want to check them out and never did. Well, here you go. And the stuff like this, this is on the Amiga CD32, which is emulated on here. And this is Ultimate Body Blows, kind of a uh, fighting game that I'm not too familiar with. Maybe you grew up with it, but you know, this is the first time for me playing this and definitely something to check out on here. Then you have some classics such as Soldiers of Fortune. And you know, this is, I do believe called the Chaos Engine on Amiga, but it's here the console version for Super Nintendo. 
you know, I know there's a lot of people out there that want to play these games, and maybe you're a purist and want to go the physical route. Hey, go for that, or play it a more official route. All right, say you just want to use it as a controller. You simply use the USB-C cable and plug it into your device of choice. I'm plugging this into the Switch. And it is wired though. It doesn't have any wireless function. And for me, I was a little disappointed with that to be quite honest. But uh, you know, overall, the stick itself is very functional. Is it the best arcade stick I've used? No, but I, I thought the quality was pretty good and it was definitely uh, usable with many games. This is what you do. You go to this screen here on your Switch and activate it. And here I am playing one of my favorite arcade games of classic era, and that's Rygar. I really love this arcade game, and I'm playing this on my Switch. So showing that the arcade stick does work rather well. It is wired though, and I don't think they do a good job of advertising that, I think on purpose. And want to just share that because I think that's important, you know, for people that are thinking that this was a Bluetooth wireless arcade stick. It is not. It didn't come with any English instructions other than just the simple uh, instructions on the back of the box. So that is another issue for some. But overall, I thought the arcade stick was uh, pretty good, pretty solid. I give it like a 7.5 or 8 out of 10. Also, many of the arcade games, at least some of the games I really wanted to play, were not functional on this. I, Gauntlet is a good example of that. It wasn't working, as well as, you know, I wanted to check out some interesting things such as iRobot, and you get this screen. So, some of the arcade games are not going to work at all. So, then you have stuff like this, and this is Avengers in Galactic Storm. This is like a, like a fighting game. And all I can say is it's running really slow. Now, I might be able to go in the settings and tweak some things and might be able to work it a little bit better or maybe change the emulator that it's running in. But if you're looking for a plug and play experience, some games may not work and it's just a heads up. I wanna thank everybody for coming to this and watching this video. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting that like and subscribe button and clicking the bell as I'm uploading videos every week. You folks are wonderful and beautiful. This is the immortal John Hancock. Thank you for watching and you take care.